We know that different factors determine your mortgage interest rate, like debt to income ratio, credit history, and little to no down payment. But when you put 20% down, Hey there, I'm Tanya Stokes, your North Carolina real estate broker. Let me help you find the home of your dreams. Now, I want to give you three reasons why you should put 20% down on a home. But keep in mind that I am not a mortgage broker. So for a more in-depth explanation, speak with a mortgage broker, okay? Now, if you don't have one, let's connect and I will point you in the right direction. So here are three reasons why you should put 20% percent down on your next home. Number three, pay off your mortgage faster. Taking out a 15-year mortgage instead of 30 years is one way to pay off your home faster. But the payment for a 15-year mortgage with a low down payment may be very uncomfortable budget-wise. Now, if you were to put down 20%, this could make the payment for a 15 or 30 year mortgage more manageable. This could also help you pay off your home sooner and build additional equity faster. Please don't forget to hit the like button and hit that little bell to be notified when I upload other videos. Also, send me a message to let me know what other subjects you would like for me to cover. Now, let's move on to reason number two why you should put 20% down on your next home. You could be eligible for a lower interest rate. We know that different factors determine your mortgage interest rate, like debt to income ratio, credit history, and little to no down payment. Basically, high risk applicants, higher interest rate. But when you put down 20% versus three to 5%, you tell your lender that you have financial stability and you carry less risk. When your lender has more confidence in your credit score and your capability of paying your mortgage on time, they will be more willing to lend you at a lower mortgage interest rate. And finally, the number one reason, there are many reasons, but for this for the three reasons, the number one reason is no PMI, no private mortgage insurance. Homeowners who put less than 20% down Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, is an added insurance policy for homeowners that protects the lender if you are unable to pay your mortgage. Now, there are different options for paying PMI. The most common way to pay your PMI is a monthly premium. It's typically arranged by your lender, and it shows up on your loan estimate and your closing disclosure. So this could increase your mortgage expense by a few dollars. Now, PMI isn't waived until you either have accumulated 20% equity in your home or increasing your home's value. And with an FHA loan, mortgage insurance is for the life of the loan if you are putting less than 10% down. So you would need to refinance an FHA loan to get rid of this expense altogether. Hey, I hope this helps. Remember to consult with your mortgage broker if you need more in-depth information. Now, if you need a referral, let me know. I'm sure together we can help you find the home of your dreams. I'm Tanya Stokes, your North Carolina real estate broker. Don't forget to share this channel with a friend or family member who's interested in moving to Charlotte, North Carolina. Or if you're already here and you're interested in purchasing a home, I would love to help you through that process. Let me be a resource for you. I'm Tanya Stokes, 704-756-2752 or tstokeshomes.com. We'll talk soon. Bye.